Hello, my name is Ken Harrison. I'm the president and CEO here at GNB Corporation. And today I want to give you a little bit of a market update. Right now we're in an interesting situation. Interest rates are up. Inflation has risen, but it is starting to fall a little bit. The government has announced that we are now officially past COVID, but the stock market is struggling. So what does all this mean for the vacuum industry? We see three significant different vacuum markets right now. We see the industrial market, we see the semiconductor market, and we see government spending. What we're seeing is a very diversified, almost bipolar type of market situation. Some of the market is really struggling. Interest rates do affect the economy, and some of the parts of the economy have slowed down. But there's other parts of the economy that are going gangbusters. Some of the employee retention money has come in, the companies are spending it, they're making investments, and that part of the market is doing very well. So what are we seeing? In the semiconductor industry, we're seeing that that market has slowed. Originally, there was a chip shortage and they just could not produce enough chips. So the equipment industry for the semiconductor was ramping up and they just could not get enough materials. And the semiconductor industry suffers from what is called the bullwhip effect. That means that you change a little bit here, but the tail end of the whip is going up and down a lot. And right now, we're one of those cycles. From what we're seeing, the semiconductor industry is not falling off the cliff. It is not in really bad shape. The number of semiconductors needed and being produced is still increasing and it is still high. But because of the market demand, there's a lot of inventory available right now, and that part of the production is lower. In the industrial market, we're seeing a number of segments, especially if they're not related to consumer goods, that are doing really well. We're seeing this in some of the aerospace segments, we're seeing some of the space programs taking off, and that is really fueling the vacuum market. Finally, in government spending, uh, with the trillions of dollars that have been spent, uh, many of the government agencies have a significant amount of money, and they've got wonderful projects, wonderful science and development projects that they're finally spending money on, and that's moving ahead. So those parts of the industry also are, are doing very, very well. That's the marketing message for this time. The economy is in a little bit of a recession, but there are some segments of the vacuum industry that are doing great.